Okay guys, I'm gonna do a little short video today for all of you who are about to make an antigen test again, COVID-19. As you can see here, I have a temperature 36.3 degrees. So I don't have fever from what they well, say temperature wise when you take the temperature under your tongue. But you can hear from my voice that I'm pretty bad shape. I probably just caught a really bad flu. But regardless, in these times, you don't want to go around and spread something that you're not aware of that you maybe have. So I'm going to quickly review with you how you make the antigen test. And we're going to look at this specific package today. And I'm going to show you stepwise how you carry out the entire procedure to do it properly. So you don't need to read this exhaustive instruction manual that you find in this package. And you can do it quick and faster than actually trying to figure out what it says. So I'm gonna turn around the camera and I'm gonna show you what's in the package. And after that, I will do the test on myself and I will show you the results. Cheers. So when you get the package like this, it says inside that you shouldn't contaminate things. So the first thing you should do is to wash your hands. And I actually have some alcohol gel as well. So I'm gonna do, before I open the package, I'm gonna put some, well, a lot of alcohol gel. And now I'll keep this here for 30 seconds. So I'm clean before I open the package. But what you see here, it says Boston Biotech Rapid SARS-CoV-2 Antigen Test Card. I think they, you know, they will come the same. And we will look inside what we have here. Then you have the instruction manual that comes like this. And this is the one I mentioned before. I've actually read the entire piece here. It comes in different languages. But here we have the English version. And this was a kit for five tests. So I can show you on the second test. I've already tested myself once. Now, there's all these considerations and uh, limitations and important information before execution but it comes down to this section down here which is relevant and i'll show you it starts like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you drop your solution onto this card and that's going to tell you after 20 minutes if you have corona or covid19 now this is how you determine well the test results now all these things are Somewhat here, but but they take some time to read through and double check everything and you want to make it right from the beginning if you only bought for example one test. So now inside this little box here we have cotton swabs and then we have these packages. This contains a little plastic piece that will tell you if you have COVID-19 and then we have the solutions. So, so all we need is this and a timer. You may also need some paper to blow your nose because you should blow your nose before you carry out the test. And that's where it all starts. So we're gonna do that first. So when that's properly done, then we can take a look at the rest of the things. So this is your container. This is where you're going to carry out the test. And this is your testing solution. This solution is going to go into that container. And then you're going to dip the cotton swab into this solution for one minute. After you had the cotton swab inside your nose. And then you're going to test it on this piece. And this is the testing specimen. So if we open this one, you will find something that looks like this. And here it says SARS-CoV-2 antigen, and that's where you're supposed to put the droplet of your solution after you have immersed the cotton swamp that's been in your nose inside the solution. So there's nothing complicated about this. I'm just going to start and I'll show you. Now, this plastic container here, if you look at it, you have a certain amount of liquid down here on the bottom. 
but there's some liquid sitting up here in the top as well. So if you want to have all the liquid in the container, use all the liquid for the test, then you can shake it a little bit like this, and then you will see that all the liquid is falling down to the bottom. It doesn't say this in the instruction manual, but it's actually very good to know. Then you grab on to the top and you twist off the top like this. Now, at this point, it's actually good to have already prepared the cotton swab. It's ready for testing. Now we take the solution and we put that into the test tube. So that we are all prepared. I will close the test tube now and put it aside and then I will show you how we stick this into your nose. This is the part that goes inside your nose. This is the cotton swab. This is the handle. So we're gonna stick this into my nose and I'll show you how it's properly done. So this is of course very unpleasant, but it should go in 2.5 centimeters. And then you roll it around inside And then you change and you take the second side. Wow, that feels bad. Now, the next thing here is that you get hold of your solution. You open it up like this. And now you should immerse the cotton swab into the solution, as you can see here. And you should roll it around for three to five turns for one minute. Basically what you should do is to make sure that the liquid inside this container is covering the entire piece of the cotton that's been inside your nose. That's 40 seconds. You should be strict with keeping these times so that you make sure that you follow the instructions from the manufacturer. And that's one minute there, as you can see. Now you grab on to the container here, and it's kind of a little bit soft, so you can pinch it with your fingers and then pull out the cotton so that most of the solution that was sitting inside the cotton is actually still inside your little container. Now we close the container and we have a little container with a nozzle that we can drop from so that we actually can target the sensor down there, this little hole. So now all we need to do is to drop three droplets, one, two, and three. And now we should have the results in 15 to 20 minutes from now. So we put on the stopwatch again and then we wait. You can see now how the liquid is spreading upwards on the paper device that you have inside there. And hopefully you don't get a line by the T because if you get a line by the T that indicates that you have COVID-19. If you get your line by the C, that indicates that your test is negative. You don't have COVID-19. But to be sure now, we have to wait 15 to 20 minutes. Well, I will turn off the camera and I'll get back to you in 15 minutes. Here you see now how I'm approaching 15 minutes. You can also see that my antigen test there shows a line by the C. And negative if one colored band appears in the control zone and no colored band appears in the test zone within 15 to 20 minutes the test result is negative negative if you have two bands then the test result is positive you have covid 19 if you have two bands one is negative if no color line appears in the control area the c within 15 or 20 minutes the test is invalid repeat the test with a new test card 
go and buy another antigen test. Basically, so that's why you wanted to get this right from the beginning. I hope this helped you. And uh, I'm happy today that I didn't have COVID-19. This test is about 99% accurate. Thanks for listening. Cheers.